In the previous example, we were just looking at a single factor diet, where we had four different diets, A, B, C and D. And by determining the average values, we were able to look, work out an effect size. Now, many experiments actually have more than one factor which may interact. So I'd like us to have a look at how we can actually use G power to look at this. So let's say we had the diet, which may have affected coagulation time, but we also have a vitamin supplement we'd like to have a look at the same time. So we've got our four diets, A, B, C and D, but plus and minus a vitamin supplement. So we've got eight treatment combinations, four of them with the, the vitamin and four without. So you can see that we've got an extra row in our table here. I'm going to assume that the effect size is the same. Now if you've already carried out the research and have the ANOVA table you can work out exactly what the effect size is. But if you haven't done the analysis, which is the, the norm, then you'll have to uh, uh, estimate it. So we're going to go with what we had before. Error probability alpha, significance level 0.05, power 0.8, and we now have eight different groups so we've eight tr treatment combinations a b c and d four of these with the di with the, the vitamin supplement for them without and the numerator degrees of freedom is basically treatments minus one so we've four diets so four minus one is three so if you actually want to work up a power analysis for how many replicates of each treatment we need for looking at the effect of diet then we need to stick a 3 in here, so we'll calculate that. And it's saying 13. So around about 13. Now, we've eight different diets, uh, vitamin combinations. So we should ideally be using some sort of multiple of 8 in order to work out a sample size. So I would suggest that for an experiment like this, it's suggesting 13, but we've got eight different treatment combinations. So we'd run with a treatment uh, total size of 16. Two replicates of each of the treatment combinations. Okay, so that's for the effect of diet. We might also be interested in the effect of a vitamin supplement. So there were two different uh, types. So there was plus and minus vitamin supplement. So 2 minus 1 is 1. Again, we've still got eight groups and we'll fire this thing up to calculate. It's saying this this time 11. But again, we need to have a multiple of 8. So we've worked out uh, how to power up for the diet and for the vitamins, but there's also going, going to be an interaction between diet and vitamins. And in order to work out the sample size that we need for this, we need to work out for the numerator degrees of freedom it's going to be the number of degrees of freedom associated with the diet multiplied by the number of degrees of freedom associated with the vitamin supplement. So with three degrees of freedom associated with the diet, so four different levels of the diet, A, B, C and D, minus one is three, times with two different uh, vitamin supplements, so plus and minus, so that, that's one, so three times one is three, and calculate. So the power for the interaction term for 0 0.8 gives us a sample size of 13. So again for this experiment you'll probably have 16 individuals in the experiment. So two replicates of each treatment combination. If you want to play around with this let's have a look Let's see what a power of 0 0.9 would give us and calculate. This will give us an estimated sample size of 15. So we can expect to get from this experiment with a sample size of 16 a power of at least 